Hey there, Corporate Misfits, and welcome to the series Mastering Kajabi in 21 Days. I'm so excited to share with you about how you can use Kajabi in your online coaching, your course creation, or membership business so that you can build a life of freedom and stop trading time for money. So if you are new around here, my name is Brittany Darrington and I'm the founder of the Corporate Misfit community and I help women to build their online business using platforms like Kajabi so that they can automate, create sales with ease and ultimately build their courses and coaching business and sharing their expertise with their tribe. So in this series, we're gonna talk all about how to use Kajabi inside and out, the perks of using Kajabi and how it can really change your life. So if you have not tried out Kajabi yet, I do have a trial which supports this channel. And also you can get some amazing resources such as landing pages that we have designed for you, such as sales pages, thank you pages, opt-in, and also some registration and tripwire pages. In addition to that, you can get access to our mini training, which is our beta launch club, which allows you to learn how to launch a online course or a coaching business in just 30 days. Okay, so let's go ahead and dive right in to what we're going to talk about in today's lesson. Okay, so I want to show you how you can create an evergreen webinar. There are going to be a lot of moving steps, but ultimately, once you get it going, it is going to be so easy for you to be able to host your webinar on repeat and not having to lift a finger after you have it fully set up because all of your emails, everything is just going to trigger without you having to touch it anymore. So let's go ahead and take a peek at what this is going to look like. Okay, so now we're in Kajabi and when we make our way to Kajabi, the first thing we want to do before we dump, jump into the pipelines, before we do all this other stuff, is that we want to go to the event section. We want to make sure that we have our actual evergreen event set up. So what I usually do in order to set up my event is I go and create a regular Zoom webinar OVO pipeline. If you have not checked out my video on that, I'll leave a link below so you can get started with creating that first. Now, once you have done that, you're going to then clone it. I recommend doing your webinar live a couple of times just to ensure that what you're talking about is resonating and converting before you just go into evergreen. However, I do understand there are people who do need to go into an evergreen sequence right away and just make sure you're getting conversion. So pay attention to those numbers and things along those lines. So once you have your, let's say Zoom webinar OVO, we're going to clone it, which you would hit this button right here, clone. However, I've already made one, but what I'm gonna do is just clone it again and make a different version. So you can see it from the beginning. Okay, we're gonna change it to the first date or time that you want this webinar to go out. I'm gonna go ahead and hit clone event. And where it says repeat this event, we're gonna go ahead and hit repeat. And now we can put it into its reoccurrence intervals. So you can do it by every 15 minutes. If you wanted to, you could do it by days. You can do it by hours, months, weeks, all that good stuff, even years. Um, I'm gonna do this by 15 minutes. Most people like to have their evergreen webinar kind of taking place every five minutes, 10 minutes, or just immediately. It's always triggering just as soon as someone registers you want that event to kind of take place. So you can go ahead and add that in and hit save. Okay, so another thing that you can do is on this, you can have automations taking place, all that good stuff. Um, this is something I talk about in one of my other videos. So go and check it out. I'll leave it below on how to get started with your evergreen. Well, just setting up your first webinar and then eventually you'll make your way to an evergreen webinar. Okay, so now that we have this event taking place, we have it all set up. We have the repeat of this event. You might have all of your emails. You might even delete some because before you might've had a week or two before the actual live event. So you needed to do some storytelling and connect to them um, through email and all of that kind of stuff. But since it's on replay and it's evergreen, you might not need as many emails. So I want you to just go through this event actions area and check out some of the emails and when they're triggering and see if you actually need all of them. You might only need one email as soon as they register, but then all you have are follow-up emails after they go to that replay page. 
Some other things to consider, which I'll walk you through in a few minutes too, is make sure that you don't have any of your past links in there. Since this is gonna be evergreen, we're gonna to wanna to send to a replay page. So we don't wanna send them to past Zoom links or other webinar platform links so that people are not lost and can't get into the actual registration because maybe it was live and it's no longer available. So I'll show you how you can update that soon as well. Okay, so after you go to the events, you're then gonna go to the forms section. We need to set up the form first before we just start creating pipelines because it won't work properly. So I'm gonna go to new form. And when I go to new form, I'm just gonna call this evergreen. We're gonna hit save. And you can have a single opt-in or a double opt-in for me. I'm just gonna go ahead and put single for right now. And the next thing that we want to do is we wanna add some automation as well as update the form fields if there's going to be different information you wanna collect than what you see here. So add that in right there. And then you're gonna to go to automation. And when you click on automation, whenever someone submits this form, they're then going to be registered to an event. So you can see right here, register to an event. Now we're going to register them to that evergreen event that we have going on so that the emails are automatically triggering. I'm going to go ahead and hit save. And now whenever someone signs up for that evergreen webinar, they're going to automatically go to the registration to the event and we're rocking and rolling. So after the submission, you can either send them to that thank you page, which is probably going to be your replay page or I can show you in the pipelines area on how you can send them to the next page in your pipeline. So it's up to you on what you prefer. Um, sometimes I go right here and plug in the replay page as my thank you and just grab the proper landing page. And sometimes I just do it on the pipelines section. So once you're done, hit save. And now we're gonna make our way to the pipeline. So again, if you have not set up a, a Zoom webinar OVO pipeline in Kajabi yet, the blueprint that they have given you, I recommend you go ahead and do that first. And again, I'll make sure to link that. Go ahead and set that up. And then also what we'll do is we're going to, going to now duplicate or after you've already used that live event, now we're going to go back and tweak it so you can use a evergreen version of your webinar. So I'm going to grab one of my past webinars. It's an OVO. It's just a Zoom webinar OVO. Now, the registration page, we're going to go and update that because you might have already had your live event. And now what we want to do is we want to change this up to where it's going to the right form. So this was the previous one for live. And now we're going to send it to the evergreen. This evergreen takes place every 15 minutes. I'm going to hit save. And then what happens next is in the thank you page, instead of them going to just some random page. So just going to go to the next page in the pipeline, which is going to be my replay page that I have uploaded. All right, now we're going to go to the replay page. So you should have already updated your emails. This is those emails that are going to be related to your before the event and then after the event. So make sure you update this if you have not done so already. And again, make sure you check links so that if anything needs to be updated, it can be. Now, this is my replay page. This is one of our templates. I have uploaded it and I'll show you how to upload a template if you would like. But this replay page is basically going to have the title, a video, and then I use I usually include either a timer or something to let people know like, hey, now that you're in, check out this amazing offer we have for you. And it now leads them to the next page of the pipeline, which is the sales page. So I, uh, I edit this call to action. It now goes to the next pipeline step. And then now you're going to a sales page and have an opportunity to purchase. So you would update your pages and it would go straight to this page as soon as someone opts in. Like it just doesn't even give it any time. It just immediately goes into it so people can watch this on demand. Now, once they get to the sales page, the sales page is then going to send them to the offer checkout. So if they click that call to action, then they're going to the sales page and the offer checkout, hopefully. But if they don't click that, they are not going to ever make their way to the sales page. So in your emails, you're going to want to continue to send them back to your specific sales page and update that so that ultimately people know, you know, where to go so they can purchase if you're talking about it in your emails. 
From here, it's gonna to go to the next pipeline after you decorate this and, and design this. It's gonna to go to the next pipeline, which will be your actual checkout. Now, if you have not already, make sure that your product that you have connected for your, your actual event is right. So if for any reason, you're not necessarily sending them to a specific um, product and it's this is not right, make sure you edit the particular offer checkout that's supposed to be here or you can go to the events area where I have the evergreen right here. We're just gonna go click on that. You're gonna update the links in here to make sure that it's going to the right checkout and the right sales page so that you don't have any confusion on where to go to get to your actual product. Okay, so now that that's set up, the next thing to do, if you want to add in a replay page, maybe you have a, maybe your replay page is one of our templates and you wanna utilize that, you're just gonna hover over the lines and you're gonna hit add page. When you hit add page, it will ask new landing page or an existing one. If you don't have a landing page, maybe you don't have one of our templates or someone else's templates or a page designed, you can go to new landing page. You can hit next and I would select the video. This will allow you to just plug that video in as soon as someone gets in, they can watch the video and ultimately lead to the sales page. So I would go with the video and I would hit next. And then here are some options you can choose from. This one's gonna be very similar to the one I had. Um, there are some other options that Kajabi provides to, for you. So just select whatever works best. I'm just gonna grab this one. I'm gonna hit next, replay video, hit save. I'm gonna remove the one I had so that there's no confusion on where they're going in their pipeline. You're gonna just upload your video there. You're gonna make sure that the call to action is going to the next page. And we're gonna just remove what I had, remove. And now we should be rocking and rolling with this particular page. You're gonna edit this with all of your information. You're gonna plug in your video and then your call to action. You're gonna to wanna to make sure it's going to the next pipeline page. So you can just go to, go to the next pipeline step and it will automatically do that, which will be your sales page. Okay, so do you wanna test this all out? Do you wanna see what this looks like and make sure that this is to your liking? What we're gonna do is I'm just gonna go and grab this and we're gonna to go to the front end and see this whole shebang. Now, again, I know I don't have it actually, uh, you know, designed and whatnot, but this is just a really great way for you to see what it looks like. Okay, reserve my spot, here we go. Now it automatically goes to that replay page. If I had a video actually uploaded, it would have that play. I can now watch this and let's say I wanna move forward, all that good stuff, call to action that says you wanna move forward. Now it goes to my sales page. My sales page is now taking place and helping to sell. Let's say I'm ready to move forward with that. Now it's going to my checkout and that's how you get people into your programs, your memberships and all that good stuff without having to basically um, post a live webinar every single week if you don't have time to even just do that. So follow these steps, I promise you. I know at first it might come off a little confusing because it's like, whoa, I have to go here, 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 and here. But once you get this done, you can take your hands off of it and now let your webinar evergreen, well, your evergreen webinar funnel work for you and help you to grow your business. So let me know. Are you looking to do a webinar? And if you are, are you looking to do a live one or are you looking to do an evergreen webinar on Kajabi? Okay. Thanks so much for watching this video and make sure you access your trial to Kajabi and those free amazing resources that we have for you, such as the pre-designed landing pages and the mini course on how to launch your first course in just 30 days. Okay, I'll see you in some of the upcoming videos.